Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on January 21st, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do. Always starting out here looking at our sun for the past 48 hours. Strong M3 class solar flare was detected. Plasma filament eruptions. And as well, another filament eruption, Earth-facing, did produce a coronal mass ejection. M-class solar flare came from an Earth-facing sunspot right there. Incoming fiery sunspot regions. I've been posting about them all week. They are large. Same with that coronal hole that has departed. That increased our solar winds. We're still up and over 500 kilometers per second. Amazing images here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory mixed with daily events worldwide. Again, thank you so much for tuning in. This is the region that just produced the strong M3 solar flare. Watching here in this amazing imagery. Bam. Earth facing, instantly putting us into an R1, level 1 radio blackout. Having a look at our current sunspots right now, 3961 looks prime. And as well, the other two following in behind are growing and spreading. Multiple sunspot regions are facing right now. Having a look at these sunspot regions in motion. Current space weather conditions, we are under R1, a minor radio blackout impacts expected. Solar winds are coming in at 506 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux here showing that big spike, M-class, small long duration, solar proton flux is low, and geomagnetic activity hovering around KP3. When you get up into the threes and the fours and the fives, that's when you will see the northern lights or auroras. Having a look at Space Weather Prediction Center here, showing the most recent coronal mass ejection, Earth-facing, Expected solar storm arrival the 24th of January. So literally 72 hours from now, we will be hit by this solar storm or coronal mass ejection from the M-class solar flare that took off from our sun today. ISWA Space Prediction Spiral showing same thing, Earth-facing and incoming Expected arrival here, 24th into the 25th. Here's the roar forecast for tonight and tomorrow. Better chance tonight than tomorrow, but still diminishing until about the 24th. Having a look at our sun today through Lasco 3 satellite imagery. Cosmic energy is leaving our sun the last two days. Big coronal mass ejection in the north. And then missing some time-stamped images here for the most recent coronal mass ejection this morning. I'll slow it down there, but that's all we got. We don't have the initial eruption visuals. Now let's have a look at earthquakes past 24 hours. Still around average, just under 200 earthquakes past 24 hours. But we did have a couple deep earthquakes here in the Fiji region, the Tonga microplate, 539 kilometer depth, and as well, 280 kilometer depth. So watch out, my friends and family. Deep earthquakes followed by shallow, larger magnitude earthquakes. Heads up, lots of activity. Uh, Vanuatu, Papua New Guinea, as well, Guam, 5.5 earthquake there. 5.5 Papua New Guinea. Still quiet South American plate. Some minor activity there in northern Chile. Notable activity here in the South Atlantic Ridge, South Mid Atlantic Ridge. Started out with a 5.5. Multiple aftershocks across the Atlantic right now is a shaken. African plate seeing some activity come back. 4.7 there, Ethiopia, a wash, back to a wash with the earthquakes, 5.0 earthquake there in Greece, 4.2 earthquake there, oh, actually that's Turkey, yeah, Bayram, 
5.0 earthquake Turkey, and as well a 4.4 there, India Plate. Alaska, seeing some seismicity today as well, 5.0. Aleutian Islands across the United States. No real rare earthquakes to report, 4.5 being the largest in Mexico. 3.5 notable earthquake there in Utah, Boulder Town. Other than that, no earthquake swarms to talk about. Quick glance at the heartbeat of our planet, showing here the last seven days for shakers and movers. As we are growing, my friends and family, and thank you so much for being a part of this channel, part of this community, who every night you guys are amazing and fill my heart. So thank you so much for watching and all the amazing support and love to this channel. Get into the comments section. Tell me where you're watching from. If you live in an earthquake prone zone, please just have a plan and be ready. No real zoned region for an earthquake warning, but there is a warning in effect across the Pacific plate as it has been quiet right up the Pacific Northeast into the Juan de Fuca. Now let's have a look at our air quality forecast. Sulfur dioxide emissions, big plume coming out of Colombia, and as well the Kilauea volcano, which has just recently stopped its lava flows as the caldera has cooled over. But lots of nasty air quality for North America following through overlooking Africa, Southeast Asia, and Australia. Big plumes coming out of Iran, and as well China. Things are diminishing through Central Africa, but notable there, Reunion Island and Mauritius, east of the Madagascar. Big plumes coming from those regions as well. We're going to have to get into a volcano activity report here real soon. Now let's have a look at world weather as we've got this strong system scooting out of the Gulf of Mexico or the Gulf of America. Eventually, by Thursday and Friday, that will be pounding Ireland. And then you've got two to three more low-pressure systems coming in. You're going to have a wet and wild week all across the UK, Ireland, and parts of Northern Europe. But big high pressure ridge over northern Africa and keep things dry through central regions. Have a look here at the temperatures as we've got extreme cold warnings across North America and the United States. Really far south of the United States, it's snowing in Florida today. Extreme cold temperatures, minus 30 to minus 40, eventually in this long range forecast right across the nation. There will be a couple intermittent warm Pacific blobs as there's a huge high pressure ridge off both the uh, United States coast and as well Africa. Look at that, minus 33, and that's without the wind chill. We're expecting minus 25 with the wind chill tomorrow. So stay warm, stay bundled up, stay close to your family and fire. Carrying on here, we've got that tropical system that affected northwestern Australia. Also multiple lows Lingering low pressure system through Mozambique and Madagascar. Eventually, it will scoot out, but then possibly join forces with a, another South Indian Ocean cyclone. Very interesting weather unfel unfolding across the planet, everybody. Strong systems moving north into Alaska. Huge high pressure ridge. Dominant across North America right now. Going to keep things dry, but very wet across Alaska as all these systems are scooting northward. High pressure ridge in the long range eventually will get squished out before another one builds in. Strong systems coming out of Hawaii this week as well. Speaking of which, going to leave you here looking at the most recent visuals of Kilauea Volcano. This is the lava flow over the summit caldera of Kilauea. Time-lapse infrared. And this is today, folks, as the flow has stopped and we've got a cooled, somewhat cooled surface and no flow. So thank God, because it was getting pretty nasty up there for air quality. 
again, everybody stay safe and healthy. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now.